Hi, this is Lindsay with Readings by Lindsay. So, I am just doing an unboxing today. Um, I was by a wonderful company called um, Zenicast. Um, I believe that's how you pronounce their name. Um, out of Iowa, Buffalo Center, Iowa. Um, I will leave all their information down below. Um, has given me a, a set of their... Um, they make tarot coins. And this is their major arcana set. I will do believe they make a full set as well. Um, but I'm doing an unboxing today to kind of show you what they look like. I'll, and if you're interested in purchasing them, um, their information on how to contact them will be below. Um, so oh, let me, un I probably should have at least taken the, the packaging off before I started this. So I'm just going to unbox them. They have cards and coins that come with these. Like I said, this is just the major arcana set. So these are the cards. So we can see they're small cards. Not very ornate, but they are, the card stock is actually very high quality. Um, and, um... I will, and I'm going to show you the coins because that's what I think I'm more excited about to see because, and they come with a nice little bag to go in too, um, which is kind of nice. Um, and these are the coins. So what I'm going to do, um, first I'm going to show you them, give you a kind of idea. This is what the back looks like. So the back is just kind of that way. And then it looks like this is the hermit. So the hermit looks, that's what the hermit looks like. Um, we've got a couple other ones, like this is Death. Um, let me see what else I got pulling out. Looks like this is the sun. Pretty obvious it's the sun. Um, so, um, these are kind of, these are very nice lovers. I'm pretty sure that this is what this is. Yeah, two hearts. These are cool, because I'm actually looking at the pictures, and I already know what, at least, like I said, this is a major arcana set, so I already can tell you, like, a lot of them, the chariot, <laughs> like, I knew it before even looking at the bottom of what it was, or the number, like, so they're very, um, when it comes to, in my opinion, just by looking at these, when it comes to just looking at the pictures, um, the star, they're very good for people that are intuitive readers like myself. Um, so, um, and then of course, you know, it does come with the cards, which I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use them. This is just an unboxing. Um, I am going to add, do another video, uh, for next month and I'm going to probably add, um, something, um, for my February video. I'm going to add, like, I'm going to use these, either add them to, um, the normal tarot or... I still got to play around with them, decide how I'm going to use them, but I wanted to do the unboxing since they, this company was so kind to send me a set of their major arcana coins, and um, I'm going to put the information at the bottom on how you can contact them if you are interested in ordering a set or ordering a full set. Like I said, this is just the major arcana. This isn't the minor arcana, the full, look, they, you know, a full set. Um, so um, this is going to be something that I'm obviously going to use with the major arcana to add on to um, other like cards and other readings, maybe like do an oracle card reading and then add a tarot coin to it, something like that. Haven't decided, literally just open the package. So um, and to not disappoint, I am going to um, do a daily. So I am going to draw um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put them in the pouch, this lovely pouch that they came in with. And I'm going to put it in the couch and shake it up. And I'm going to draw one for the day. And then I'm also going to draw a card for the day. So we're going to get two. Obviously, I got to shuffle these a little bit better. But we're going to get, so we're going to get two major arcana cards for the day. And this is going to be just a daily in the collective. Um, nothing special. This is just so, not to this point. So you're getting some sort of a reading with this. Because um, I still have to, you know, play with them a little bit and figure out how exactly I'm going to use them before I do a full on. And I'm sure that'll change over time, too, <laughs> while I'm reading with them. But I am going to include them in my videos. Um, I don't want to say from here on out, but at least in the next few videos, I'm when I figure out what I'm going to do with them, um, I'm going to do them. I know that they're going to work very well for, um, you know, I am also on an internet platform for um, Purple Garden and Purple Ocean, um, which is, you know, uh, because of COVID, I had to find a way to... Um, you know, bring an extra income. So unfortunately I had to go to work for, um, an internet site, which is very different than doing live readings. You had a very different type of client. Um, so 
I mean, they are live readings, but what I'm saying is it's just a very different type. It's a very different type of client. Um, so it, you know, they each have their pros and their cons, but I prefer working with people my, in my own business for various reasons. Um, but you know, it's, it, you do what you got to do in times like these. Um, I'm not in it for the money. And I, a lot of times I feel like that's more about what the internet site is about. And, um, but you know, I am, I have to make a living, but I really, I'm rewarded when I'm helping people. And sometimes I feel like, you know, not all the readings, most of the readings I do on there are just to people aren't trying to grow spiritually. It's like, they just want to know, they want answers to things that are very, I don't want to say not important. They're important to them, but just not part of the big picture, I think. But anyway, cite that. Uh, I, they are, I think these are going to work well for that use um, because it will help me. Um, first of all, I'll have coins because they pay by the minute, so I'll be able to draw a lot faster. There's not going to be a lot of shuffling involved. Um, and I also think I'll be able to give more clarity to a lot of the cold reads that I have to do because, you know, I do have some regulars, but it's not like there's a lot, you know, most of my day is cold reads. So I think that will have to help be helpful too. But that said, let's um, draw a card for today and draw a point for today. By the way, you know, this obviously is the first time I'm working with the, these coins and these and this is just a major arcana. But that said, if you do want a private reading with me, um, that information will be below too. Um, you can go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash readings by Lindsay. You can email me at affordablepsychic at yahoo.com or you can text me directly at 262-577-1794. You can attempt to call me, but very rarely am I able to answer the phone because I'm on my phone a lot, especially during COVID. A lot of my readings are done through Zoom. Um, you know, I do have my, for locals, I do have my shop. It's still open. I still am seeing people, but a lot of people prefer because of COVID and, you know, it being cold and flu season and all that to do, do it over um, Zoom and or over the phone. And that's fine with me either way. But, um, and also I have long distance clients too that always do it over the phone or or um, the edge video chat, but, um, and then I also have uh, digital products too, which um, I think these are going to work very well for the single questions. I'm going to, I know I'm going to incorporate these into the $10 single question readings that I do with my, you know, the digital products, which is a video, you get a video much like this. You ask your question, you pay your $10 and you get a video within 24 hours, which um, has a reading on it for you that answers your question. Um, I do my general readings that way too. I limit you to three questions and I prefer them to all be about the same subject. Um, if not, that's fine, but um, it, it's just um, the general readings. If it's, it's basically, if you have a single question and you want an in-depth information, you can get a general reading on it or you can get a general reading and ask up to three questions. Uh, those are the video. And I do terascopes, which are like daily polls. Um, which this would work great for too. These, um, I'm already think, having ideas of what these things would work great for. Um, and those are a dollar piece um, and $15 minimum to buy a pack of those. Um, they don't necessarily come every day. Um, usually I average about four a week. Um, I send them basically, um, they get a little spaced out. I send them basically um, not every day for various reasons. First of all, I don't always, I have, I'm not always able to just sit down and do tarot scopes for everybody every day. Other times, people start getting, you know, the same message over and over again, and I feel like there needs to be a little bit of a break in between to get some different messages. Um, but you always will get them, don't worry. I keep counting them, and... Um, that's the way that works. So basically, you don't ask any questions or anything. It's just a daily poll. It's your card for the day. Um, and these work very well for that, too. So it's kind of like what I'm doing right now. So for today, let's see what card we get. So what I do a lot of times with this is I wait for one to pop up. This one popped up right away. The world. Ooh. Okay, so we've got the world. Now let's pull a coin. And the High Priestess. So, um, this is interesting because, to me, this tells me that there are 
for some of you, there are cycles that are coming to an end, um, but you haven't learned everything that you haven't, you haven't learned all your lessons. So some of these things are going to recycle around um, because there are mysteries, um, just information that you have not reached to that point of enlightenment that you have to go back and kind of be retested on. Um, for some of you, when I look at this, I see it as the cycle actually coming to an end. Um, definitely, we are at a time where cycles are, a lot of people are having, I mean, we're just living in a time right now um, where cycles are coming to ends, beginnings, um, and transitions. Um, for some of you, though, you are going to, with the high priestess coming here, you're going to be on the other end of this. That cycle, you're going to be beginning a cycle that's going to be a very heavy cycle. You're going to be going into, um, today is going to be a very heavy day. Since this is a daily poll, um, it's, you know, you're, you're, you've already begun the cycle. So we're looking at this. I'm looking at this like, okay, we're talking about cycles. Lots of cycles are going on. Since this is a daily poll, I'm going to look at this high priestess coin as some of you are going to have some heavy lessons that are, it's like today's going to be a heavy. I just feel like it's going to be a heavy day for a lot of people today. There's all going to be a lot of confusion, um, a lot of misunderstandings, um, which it can be worked out. But it's what I'm hearing is everybody's in a different place energetically right now it's very scattered right now this might have something to do with the mercury jupiter saturn conjunction that, that we're having right now um i believe those are the three planets i'm not an astrologist so if i'm wrong on that if i'm, I'm screwing that up i'm sorry but we have three planets that are in conjunction it's very rare um and i know that it it has a possibility to cause chaos at least that's what i've read into not read like books but like readings like energetically that's what i've picked up off of that conjunction um and i know that that conjunction when it's in your chart can cause prosperity and and good things to come but there's always the the, ba the balance end of that that's going to cause that can cause jealousy chaos things like that and we're seeing we're already seeing some of that um and in, for my reading for january I, I called that without even mentioning that conjunction and then look what happened at the capitol I really thought it was going to happen here. As a matter of fact, last night we had um, a verdict came back um, in the Jacob Blake uh, case that some of you, it was made national news, so many of you may have heard of it um, for the police officer, and he did not get charged. Um, and many of the businesses closed down early because we thought, because they were having a rally at 4, the Black Lives Matter people were having a rally at 4 p.m., which... It's all well and good when they do it during the day and they're nonviolent, but a lot of times, or at least last time, I shouldn't say a lot of times, a lot of times nationwide, but the last time this happened, we still had businesses boarded up from when it happened before. And they, the city advised businesses to stay boarded up till this was all over um, because, you know, they started burning down the city. <laughs> um, now, let's not confuse this with the peaceful protesters because it, we didn't have any trouble, thank goodness, yesterday. It stayed It was stayed a peaceful protest. Um, but there was still a lot of fear that it was going to, after dark, it was going to go crazy, um, which is what happened last night time. I mean, for days we had peaceful pro protests during the day, and then after curfew, busloads of people would come in, or caravans of people with their license plates covered would come in, and they started setting fire to our city. So, I mean, you had, like, two sets of people, but... The alignments were different then, um, you know, so I'm not going to get into the past alignments and all that. So, but, um, you know, I, the thing is going back to the high priestess coin for the day, I'm sorry, I, I got off subject going back to the high priestess coin for today. There are going to be, um, for some people there, like I said, the big thing I'm feeling is confusion, misunderstandings. Um, but I also feel like there are going to be lessons learned or you're going to be being tested or you're going to feel like you're being tested. Um, now, on the other end of the spectrum, I feel like some people are going to actually find things out that they 
had no idea were coming or, and these aren't just like simple things. These are big deal things. These are things that have been going on for a long time. Things have been hidden for them from a long time or things they have been trying to figure out for a long time. And I feel like today, or usually when I do dailies, I say within the next 72 hours, you're going to start finding out about these things. Um, and especially with this world card coming up, that's going to put an end to the cycle or the end of the, you know, whatever you've been going round and round and round and round about that information will be finally given to you. So with that, um, this is the unboxing for the Zenicast, uh, coins of the tarot. This is the major arcana set and I will leave, um, their, um, information. They have a Facebook page. Um, and I'm, and, um, so you can look up Xanacast. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is off the top of my head. Well, I'm sure it's probably slash Xanacast, but they have a group or a page. I think it's a page, um, on Facebook, but I will put their, um, shipping and in- information because that's what I have. So you can reach out and contact them and also the name you can, it's an LLC. So you can Google it and you'll get, I'm sure they have a website that if you Google it, it'll come up. Um, so you can, um, order a set or, uh, you know, maybe order a larger set if you want, or order the set that I got, or even inquire more information about it. Um, do some more research about it. But honestly, just in the unboxing, just in this brief time that I've seen what I've seen with these cards that are, you know, I know some people don't like small cards. I don't mind the small cards, honestly. They're easier for my clients to shuffle, honestly. Um, but I can tell you that these cards, I think it's really great that, I think it's awesome that they included cards with the coins. I mean, I wasn't expecting to get cards. Um, also, the cards, these pictures on the cards, I've noticed reflect what the, the pictures on the coins are. So that's why I'm like, okay, they're not that ornate. Well, it's because they're on the coins. So you've got the cards and you've got the coins, which is really cool. So you can choose both, but I just think the coins are just really, really cool. Um, and also, like, these are like metal, heavy metal coins. They're not like cheap plastic. I want to put that out too. These are, these obviously were made with care. Interesting, the hermit didn't just kind of, didn't fall out, but when I picked up the cards, that one stayed behind. So, again, um, I'm going to add this into my reading for today, or it was in the next 72 hours. There are people, especially with the high priestess, that goes so well together, too. There are going to be people that are going to be trying to keep to themselves, trying to keep out of the, the misunderstandings. The, there's definitely going to be some misunderstandings. Um all the information isn't going to be there. There are going to be some people that are going to pull away. Also on the other end of that with the high priestess and the hermit, I do feel like this is saying that there are people that are going to be met, kind of almost in a meditative state, trying to look for deeper meaning in things, trying to find deeper meaning in things and going in within inside themselves to, to find that deeper meaning, which that is a wonderful thing. This is the year that people are going to be being enlightened and opened up and spiritually awake, having spiritual awakenings. This does not surprise me one bit at all. And I think I'm going to be seeing a lot more readings like this this year. So that's another piece, tidbit of information. So with that, I'm going to sign off, upload this. Um, I'm going to share it on my YouTube page publicly, and I'm also going to share it on uh, Zenicast's uh, Facebook page. Um, so this is the unboxing and look forward to, um, more thorough videos that don't, aren't just about the coins, but have, uh, other full tarot cards or, um, even I might use, um, like, a use these with, um, Oracle decks, which are not tarot decks. They're like, like these are little cards. So, you know, like communication is key. Moon and, Gem- Moon and Gemini. Um, it's not a tarot deck at all. It's an oracle deck. A lot of people ask me what the difference is. There's, there's a difference, a rather large difference. Um, but I'm not going to explain that right now. So, um, yes. So I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing and I hope that, um, like I said, this wonderful company that was so kind to, um, send me a box of these coins, uh, to share with everybody. Um, and, um, I hope that I can help, um, help them not just drum up business, um, especially in these tough times, uh, small businesses, we have to stick together. Um, but also, um, I hope that I've done 
their products some justice by explaining the quality and, you know, how maybe even throwing out some good ideas of what they can be used for because I was just getting ideas like crazy when I was on there. I was like, use them with Oracle cards, use them with, you know, regular tarot decks with the minor, because this is, like I said, these are just the major arcana with minor arcana and throw them in there. Um, so, you know, watch my videos in the future because I'm going to try different things. So we'll have, um, so I'll probably throw in some more ideas. I'm sure more will come. Like I said, I've had, it's 20 minutes into this video, so I probably had less than a half hour to think of all the things that I could do with these and just the ideas always come rolling in. Um, and also intuitively, I'm sure my guys will guide me on ways to use them. And again, these are metal coins, not plastic. So metal coins. So they're high quality. So, um, and the card size is two and a half by three and a half inches. And the coin size is approximately one inch inch. So have a wonderful day.